Although it has been more than a year since the delivery of Russian S-300 to Syria, the evidences show that this air defense system has low performance and efficiency in use. In this regards, Syria intends to buy Iranian Baber 373 air defense system. According to a report by Avia.pro, the Russian S-300 has never been used to repel the attacks since the delivery time. Despite numerous Zionist attacks over the past year, the primary reason for not using of the S-300 in Syria is that the air defense systems simply do not see Israeli planes. According to some sources, the reason for not using the S-300 in Syria to repel Israeli attacks was the Russia's special position. Syrian and Iranian officials have not confirmed the news of selling latest Iranian Baber 373 defense missile system to Syria so far. The domestically made missile system Baber 373 was unveiled during a ceremony held in Tehran on August 2019. The long-range air defense system is capable of detecting up to 100 targets, tracking 60 of them, and engage with six concurrently. A distinguishing feature of Baber 373 is its vertical launching system with square launchers, mostly used for air defense on warships. Baber 373 is an impenetrable anti-hacking surface-to-air missile defense system, comprising a vertical launching system, two acquisition and engagement radars, Sayyid-4 missiles, and a command and control center. The design minimizes the need for additional support equipment and systems. The vertical launching system features square launchers that are identical to the launchers utilized by naval warships for air defense. Each Baber 373 battalion has a command, control and communication unit, which, as the brain of Baber 373, is responsible for managing and establishing communication between the system's components. In addition to communicating with the country's integrated defense network. One battery of this system has four Sayyid-4 transporter erector launchers, TELS, ready to launch missiles, and has the ability to destroy targets at a range of 300 kilometers. Also, instead of a Sayyid-4 TELS, the other TELS of Sayyid missile family can also be used. Baber 373 can use several types of missiles. This capability allows Baber 373 to cover the range and altitude of different targets like the S-400 system. Nevertheless, so far only the Sayyid-4 missile has been officially introduced for use in the Baber 373 system, but the use of Sayyid family missiles such as Sayyid-2 and 3 is also very likely. The Sayyid-4 missile can engage targets at a range of 200 km and up to an altitude of 27 km, similar to the 48N6E2 missile of the S-300 system. Sayyid-4 missile uses stabilizer fins and thrust vector control system, which has significantly increased the maneuverability of the missile. These features have made the Sayyid-4 missile similar to the S-448N6DM missile, which has anti-ballistic properties. The main difference between the Sayyid-4 missile and the 48N6DM missile is the fins of the thrust vector control system.
In Sayyid 4, these fins protrude from the body, and this causes more changes in the exhaust gases of the missile, and as a result, creates a sharper angle for the missile to turn. So, the high turning power shows that the missile has a high G-pressure tolerance. When the missile gains altitude and enters the thin atmosphere, the control fins at the end of the missile lose their effectiveness, and this is another reason for using the thrust vector control system. Considering that the Baver system is modeled after the S-300, the guidance method of the Sayyid-4 missile should also be similar to the S-300 system. The desired guidance method is tracked via missile. In this guidance method, the missile combines the characteristics of semi-active radar homing, SAR, and radio command guidance. This method has been used on a number of long-range surface-to-air missiles, SAMs, including the MIM-104 Patriot. Baver 373 system in this test detected the target at a distance of 450 kilometers. When this target is detected, the initial lock is performed at a distance of 400 kilometers, and a stable lock is performed at a distance of 360 kilometers. It takes a minute to hit it. In this test, we chose a UAV with a small cross-sectional area, and by this we wanted to say that this system is able to identify and destroy the smallest target with a very small cross-sectional area, which it succeeded in destroying at a range of 304 kilometers. The target drone, which was produced by a joint effort by the Ministry of Defense and Air Defense of the Army, reached a height of 43,000 feet 13,716 kilometers) in this test and was hit by the Baver 373 system.